I'm going to be doing the book libs challenge. I will link the creator down in the description below. I was tagged by Megan Precourt and basically for this tag you have a list of 18 um, basically categories and there's a story where you plug in the words that you get from each category depending on which number they fall in and when you plug in all the words that you've gotten it makes a story and I thought it was really fun and I am really excited to do this challenge for you guys so I will go ahead and get started the first word comes from a book you just bought and for this I've chosen Odd Thomas by Dean Koontz I didn't actually buy this, a friend got this for me yesterday let's find a name so my name is Harlow word number two comes from a book that you just read and it is also a name I'm currently reading Scarlet by Marissa Meyer so by the time this goes up I'll probably be finished with this I'm gonna pick from what I've read Wolf Three is a book you've never read, and I've chosen Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. And you have to find a location or place. Elevator. Number four is your favorite book, and mine is Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. And you have to find an adjective. Romantic. Number five is a book you didn't like, and I have switched by, what's her name, by Amanda Hawking. You have to find a noun or item. Dress. Number six is the smallest book on your shelf. And I have Sun Chaser's Quest by Mary Stanton. And for this, you have to find an adjective. Huge. Number seven is the thickest book on your shelf. And I have a bind up. This Present Darkness and Piercing the Darkness by Frank Peretti. And you have to find a noun. Oh, this print is small. Let's do fibers. Number eight is a dystopian book, and I have Divergent by Veronica Roth. And you have to find a verb. Training. Number nine is a book that made you cry, and I've chosen Beautiful Chaos by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. And you have to find an adjective. Awkward. For number 10, you have to choose a fantasy book and find a creature or an animal. So I have Aragon. Right, I'm going to do horses. For number 11, you have to choose a book that was made into a movie. So I have Twilight. And you have to find an object. Key. Number 12 is a book with deckled edges. And I have The Miserable Mill by Lemony Snicket. And you have to find a place. Hospital. Number 13 is another fantasy book. And I have Game of Thrones. And you have to find a magical being. Are there any magical beings in Game of Thrones? Yeah, well, let's see what I can find. I'm going to choose a different book. <laughs> Alright, since there aren't very many magical beings in Game of Thrones, I have chosen Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone instead. So I'm finding a magical being. Troll. So number 14 is a contemporary book and I have The Perks of Being a Wallflower and we have to choose a name. Sam. For 15 you have to pick out a paranormal book and I have marked and you have to find an exclamation. Excellent. Number 16 is a book with a blue cover so I have Bitter Blue and you have to find a past tense verb. Studied. Number 17 is a book with even numbered pages. So I have Mockingjay, and you have to find a past tense verb, borrowed. And then the last book is a book with odd numbered pages, and you have to find an emotional adverb, completely. Hey guys, sorry I'm in a different spot now, but my camera died and I wanted to film the rest of the video right after I put together my story, so I figured I would just finish it up on my laptop camera. So I wrote everything down. My story makes no sense, <laughs> but I will read it to you guys. So my story is called 
The Quest for the Romantic Dress Once upon a time, Harlow and Wolf went on an adventure through an elevator to find the romantic dress. This dress was said to have huge powers that could turn any man into a fiber, as well as make him train forever. Suddenly, Harlow and Wolf's path was blocked by an awkward horse. Luckily, Wolf never leaves home without his trusty key, and the horse was quickly slain. When they finally reached the hospital where the romantic dress was said to be, they were met by a troll named Sam, who told them that in order to obtain romantic dress, they had to say the magic word. Luckily, Harlow knew it and quickly blurted out, Excellent! After receiving the romantic dress from the mysterious troll, Harlow and Wolf took each other's hand and studied into the sunset, and they borrowed completely ever after. It's pretty ridiculous, but it was really fun to make, and this is something that you could do over and over again and get different results, and I think it'd be fun to do one like every year or something like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I don't know exactly who to tag, but if you think that this challenge is fun, do it. It is so fun, and I would love to see your videos. So if you do one, tag me, send me a tweet on Twitter. My Twitter name is going to be in the outro as well as in the description below. I also have links to my Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, and my blog that I don't really use very much but they're all in the down bar so go ahead and follow me on there if you'd like and i hope you all have a great night bye